Agriculture's technological innovations satisfy the increased demand for farm automation, digitization, and sustainability. Emerging agricultural trends indicate a shift towards smart farming and more efficient use of time and resources, all while minimizing crop losses. Smart farming is a new concept that uses technology, such as the Internet of Things, IoT, computer vision, and artificial intelligence, AI, in agriculture. Robots and drones are hastening agricultural automation by replacing manual farm chores such as fruit harvesting, weed removal, and water sprinkling. Drone and satellite imagery, combined with the Global Positioning System, GPS, provides a high-resolution, location-specific perspective of the area. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now let's get started. Number 1. The Bidu Satellite Navigation System Transforms Agriculture Bidu enabled functionalities are also deployed in at least 50,000 farm machines in the agricultural industry, where they have enhanced operational efficiency. Cotton growers in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region have discovered that using Bidu navigated unmanned aircraft to spray farm chemicals is more efficient and cost effective than doing so manually, saving men, money, and time. Some grain and vegetable farmers in Heilongjiang province can now use computers or even mobile phones to control driverless farm machinery to do high-precision farming operations, thanks to Bidu's high-accuracy positioning. A Bidu-guided rice planter in Guangdong province can plant seedlings in paddies 50% faster than three farmers. Bidu features have been installed in about 6.6 .6 million taxis, buses, and trucks throughout China. Bidu services are used by about 3,200 river navigation facilities and over 2,900 sea navigation devices. Number 2. China's Xinjiang starts harvesting cotton. Over human rights concerns, the U.S. slapped sanctions and cotton import restrictions on suppliers controlled by the Xinjiang Production and Construction Court, XPCC, a paramilitary production body that produces one-third of Xinjiang's cotton. However, the paper claims that these issues extend beyond the XPCC to the entire region. It suggested that the U.S. government broaden its import restrictions to include all Xinjiang cotton, not simply that grown in XPCC regions. China's labor transfer plan is ostensibly part of the government's huge poverty reduction campaign, but accumulating evidence suggests it targets and coerces Uyghurs and other Muslim minorities in Xinjiang. While mechanized harvesting has climbed to over 83% in XPCC regions, cotton production in the south of Xinjiang remains primarily reliant on human picking. While the number of workers brought in from other provinces for the harvest season had decreased, the proportion of local ethnic minority laborers had climbed considerably, according to the study. It was predicted that 570,000 people entered through three minority heavy prefectures alone, Aksu, Houghton, and Kashgar, and that labor programs in other ethnic minority regions, as well as prison labor, would likely add hundreds of thousands more. The labor programs are not hidden. They are routinely written about in official media as shining instances of the government aiding millions of disadvantaged people into employment. But those pieces also carry hints about their coercive nature. Number 3. Smart technologies help farmers build smart farms. Smart farming is concerned with the management of farm activities through the use of data obtained from multiple sources, historical, geographical, and instrumental. Technological advancement does not necessarily imply that a system is intelligent. Smart agriculture technologies distinguish themselves by their capacity to collect and analyze data. Smart farming uses hardware, the Internet of Things, and software, software as a service, or say yes, to collect data and provide actionable insights to manage all agricultural operations, both pre- and post-harvest. The data is well-organized, always accessible, and full of information on every area of financial and field operations that can be accessed from anywhere in the world. In agriculture, IOT includes sensors, drones, and robots that are connected to the Internet and perform activities and collect data automatically and semi-automatically to increase efficiency and predictability.
With rising labor needs and a global labor crisis, agriculture automation and robots, often known as agribots, are gaining popularity among farmers. Number 4. Highly Mechanized Cotton Harvest in Xinjiang this year, 1.8 million mu, 120,000 hectares, of cotton were sown in Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region's Kuka County, with 1.2 million mu machine picked, bringing the mechanization rate to about 70%. Wang Wenlong is a cotton farmer from Kuka County's village. Only three cotton pickers were needed this year to harvest all of the yield on his 2,000 mu field. When each machine picked 500 mu fields of cotton per day, the harvesting period was reduced by more than a month when compared to manual labor. It's difficult to find picking workers, and labor costs are high. Machine harvesting can save me a total of 200,000 yuan, Wang explained. Kuka County has aggressively promoted cotton machine picking in recent years. Subsidies for agricultural machinery purchases were increased to encourage farmers and agricultural machinery cooperatives to invest in cotton pickers, further modernizing agriculture in the region. Number 5. High-Tech Farming is Smart in South China the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs announced new recommendations for modernizing Chinese agriculture on Monday. According to the recommendations, digitalization demonstration zones that leverage big data must be fully implemented within three to five years. In essence, the ministry wants Chinese agriculture to go digital or smart, and these demonstration zones will help to accelerate the process across the country. The zones are meant to promote the deep integration of current information technology with agricultural output and to engineer rural rejuvenation in the process. The new guidelines build on a number of planning documents issued in recent years, including the Digital Agriculture and Rural Development Plan, 2019-2025, issued in 2020, and the State Council's 14th Five-Year Plan for Promoting Agricultural and Rural Modernization, issued earlier this year. Number 6. Automated farming is being tested in China. Drones fly overhead while autonomous machines transplant rows of rice seedlings on a farm in Heilongjiang Province, northeast China, a significant rice-producing base. The research is being conducted on a nearly 11-hectare field in Hongwei Farm, Heilongjiang, one of China's 10 selected grain plantation areas to test agricultural automation for the future generation of farmers. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs and the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology sponsored the test, which began this year in Jiangsu Province, Chongqing Municipality, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, Henan, and Hainan Provinces. Number 7. White Strawberries Grab Chinese Consumers' Attention White strawberries are a relatively new product on the Chinese strawberry market. They have gained popularity since their color and flavor differ from ordinary red strawberries, and their market price is relatively high. Because of their unique appearance, white strawberries attract their own traffic, and e-commerce helps to open up the market. However, domestic white strawberry cultivation is still at a low production capacity at the moment. The white strawberries we plant are of the Mengxiang variety, which was successfully cultivated and developed by the Ningbo Academy of Agricultural Sciences in 2022. It has a perfect fruit shape, delicate flesh, and a distinct smell when bitten into. We employ organic planting methods, organic fertilizers, and no chemical fertilizers such as fruit expanders and chemical hormones to ensure quality. Number 8. Number 9. Harvesting chilies in northwest China's Xinjiang. Agricultural machinery harvests chili peppers in a planting base in Karamei, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, northwest China. The harvest season has begun for approximately 113.33 hectares of chili peppers in Karamei, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, northwest China. The red chili peppers cover the trees and shine brightly in the sun. When viewed from the air, Karamei's chili pepper production base seems like a joyful image carved on the earth. It's worth noting that this year's chili pepper harvest in Karamei is totally mechanized. The use of machinery not only cuts costs, but it also enhances harvesting efficiency for growers. Agricultural machines pick chili peppers in a comprehensive agricultural development zone in Karamei, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, Northwest China. Number 10.
Artificial Intelligence The application of AI in farming enables farmers to take preventative measures by providing them with real-time insights into the state of their agricultural operations. Farmers are able to make more educated decisions with the assistance of AI because it delivers predictive insights for weather data, crop output, and price projections. Farmers can receive recommendations for inputs as well as advice from chatbots. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us.